guys, welcome back to my channel. Did not think this was a sentence I would ever get to say again. But then again, did not think a pandemic would happen in 2020. So yet, here we are with all things unexpected. Now, if you must be wondering, why have I suddenly appeared in your feed on YouTube? Uh, most of you probably have forgotten that you've even subscribed to my channel. Well, hi, my name is Farheen and I used to make videos on skincare and beauty. And today, once again, I'm going to talk about skincare because that's the thing I know best. Period. 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 Before I actually get to the context of this video, I do want to speak a little about the quarantine and the pandemic. First of all, I hope you are staying at home and I hope you're staying safe. I hope your family is safe, all your loved ones are safe. Um, I know quarantine can be a little difficult for some people, including myself. Um, it feels like a rat race. Everyone around me is trying to be productive. People are cooking, people are singing, people are dancing, and then there's me who does not feel like doing anything. Most of the days, um, I'm feeling pretty unproductive and pretty low. So um, if you feel the same way, I just want to say that it's fine. It's absolutely fine um, if you do not come out of this quarantine um, developing a new skill, finding a new hobby or doing anything. It is okay to just survive and to just take each day as it comes. So I hope you're watching lots of good movies, um, eating good food, um, reconnecting with your loved ones, all those long lost friends. That's what I've been trying to do, connecting with all the long lost friends that I haven't spoken to in years. Or if you're just spending time by yourself, that's fine as well. Just remember that this is not a rat race as people are making it seem to be. So take it easy and uh, that was my TED talk. Moving on to the context of this video, it's about my quarantine skincare routine. And like I said, I have been feeling pretty unproductive so I don't feel like doing anything including my skincare. But on days when I do take care of my skin, I've been following um, a very simple skincare routine that only involves three products. and two steps not even three steps um, but two steps and three products so let me show you guys what it is and let's get on with the video my skincare basically has been curated by skincraft it's this um, box thingy that i have the skincraft if you do not know is this customized skincare brand um, basically they will send you products that is customized especially customized customized especially for your skin um, whatever your concerns are whatever your skin type is you go on their website and you'll see that they have this questionnaire that you're required to fill, fill out it's very exhaustive uh, questionnaire they ask you all about your skin your habits um, if you have any allergies what concerns you have what are you looking forward from this experience like um, what uh, for example your goals are skincare goals are um, so you answer all these questions and then they will send you uh, a bunch of products that will actually um, cater to your specific skin needs. So for example, when I went on the website and I took the um, skincare quiz, I remember saying that my major concerns were acne and acne scars. So um, that's basically what the products they've sent me. They send you three products. They send you um, a cleanser and they send you two types of moisturizer. The first one is a general moisturizer and the second one is a specially concentrated um, product that aims to specifically target your skin concern. So like I said, mine was acne and acne scars. So I've been sent this skin lightening serum. If you have um, a pore issue, probably they would send you a pore minimizing serum or something of that sort. It depends on whatever um, problem you have and whatever solution 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 you're looking forward to um, getting, receiving. I've forgotten how to speak English because I haven't spoken in a while. So excuse me, I've forgotten how to speak to the camera, but I'm trying and let's get on to more details. Uh, before actually anything else, I'm sitting very comfortably. So um, before I actually show you guys what the product is and how to use it and stuff, let me just briefly go over my experience with skin track and also what my skin is like. So I have got combination skin. It's normal to oily, tending to be pretty oily during the summers. Like the onset of summers has always been pretty harsh for my skin. Um, I get a lot of body rashes and uh, body acne, which I've gotten even this year as well. I've got it all across my body this year pretty bad um, and I also get acne on my face of course um, but this year touch wood I've only gotten two so far I've got one on my chin and I've gotten one over here as you can see they still left behind their um, marks 
but other than that i haven't faced any major acne issue like i generally do um as compared to other other years like previous years it hasn't been that bad it's been pretty good and i honestly haven't been doing much as well i've only been um using the products these products because anything else during the summers my skin feels very oily so um i don't like putting on a lot of products on my skin it feels very very heavy so i try to minimize product usage um as much as i can so these are the only things that i've been using now uh, the cleanser i'm going to go over the products one by one so i can like give you my actual thoughts on it so the cleanser actually is like this very um I don't know how to explain it. I just know that it has a nice smell and it does its job pretty decently. Um, I leave it on my face for around 30 seconds. That's just the habit that I have with all my cleansers. I lather it up and then I try to leave it on or massage it for like 30 seconds and then I wash it off. It adequately cleanses my face. Some cleansers tend to make your skin look really, really dry. This one um, kind of leaves it in between. It does not feel very dry. It also does not feel very moisturized. It's just this. Very thin in between um, position, but it's just fine. Anything beyond would be a little too dry or a little too um, oily. So it's just in between, and I think it's fine. I don't have any complaints regarding the moisturizer. It cleanses my face, takes off the oil and the dirt and everything else. Just a very basic, decent um, cleanser. Moving on to the moisturizers that I have. I have different thoughts regarding both. The first one, which is the Barrier Repair Moisture, it's the big one. It's a general one, I guess. This I love, and for me, I think out of the three products, this is my star product because um, it's a very lightweight moisturizer. Uh, it, and I have even though I have oily skin, right? Like I said, after washing my face, it's just this middle point where it's not too moisturized, it's not too dry. Sometimes it does feel a little dry. So this adequately moisturizes. Like the moment you put it on my skin, um, even when you see the clip, you'll see that my face has been looking pretty dry, pretty okay. But the moment I put this on, it looks like I've drank like two liters of water when it's just a drop of this moisturizer. It's got this very uh, thin gel, not gel like. Kind of like, yeah, kind of like this thin gel-like consistency. It, I tap it into my skin and it gets absorbed pretty quickly, and it also looks and feels hydrated. So I love the moisturizer. I think if they ever sold it separately, I would hundred percent buy it again. So the moisturizer, hundred percent recommend. Now moving on to the second moisturizer that they have, not the moisturizer like the um, specially formulated thing that they sent, is the skin lightening serum. Now this is a clear gel as opposed to that one. That's like a little white, like a little opaqueish white color, and this is a clear one. And this you're supposed to use at night, especially because this is a skin lightening one. Um, they send you this mail by the way when you like sign up and you like order your stuff. They send you a very detailed mail regarding. Um, the procedure to use these products, when you're supposed to use it, the do's and don'ts, and everything, and they even check up with you pretty much every week, I think, for the first few weeks. So it's a very uh, detailed process, and I really like how how the company takes care of its customers and like they really, really do ensure that you're getting the best for your skin from their end. So um, they had recommended that I use this thing at night, so I do use it at night. Sometimes, if I feel like my skin is very, very dry, I will use both of these together. Like I'll again use the moisturizer and then I top it off with this one. Otherwise, I will just use this after like washing my face with the cleanser. So now this, I am not very, very fond of. Like Before my camera died, like I was saying, I'm not very fond of the third one because first of all, it takes a while to sink into the skin. I feel like I have got to massage this into my skin as opposed to the other one where I just have to like tap it lightly and it gets absorbed within seconds. So, and even when um, I do massage it into skin, sometimes I feel like it still sits on top of my skin like this layer of just. Skin care that just won't get absorbed, so it does bother me sometimes. So I'm not fond of it for that reason, and more specifically because I'm not sure of its skin lightening properties. Like I've been using it um, for a while now, like for a month, month and a half, and I still have these acne scars. I'm not sure if my face looks brighter than before. You guys have been seeing me after a long time, so you will be able to tell from my previous video if my skin actually looks brighter than before or not. But to me, it just looks the same. I haven't really seen any. Brightening or lightening effect, and I've also haven't seen my acne scars fade very quickly. So I'm doubtful of this product, but the other two I think are fine. So my overall review about Skin Trap is that it's pretty much two products are fine. One of them I'm 
50-50 about. So I think overall skin trap is still not giving a try because after all it's customized skincare and so far it has more or less worked for me. So I would recommend you to try it out as well. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch. I wanna hold you so much. As long as love has arrived, and I thank God I'm alive. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Pardon the way that I stare. There's nothing else to compare The sight of you leaves me weak There are no words left to speak So if you feel like I feel Please let me know if it's real You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching uh, let me know what your thoughts are on skin craft if you will trying it out if you think it's a gimmick if you think i've put on foundation and not letting you guys know i really haven't um, and also if you think i should get back to youtube and if you miss my gibberish videos or if i should really maintain social distancing from youtube as well let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and i will see you in the next one hopefully bye and please take care